Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Norwegian 737 Project. A uh, long time no see, fellas, but I did receive two packages today. And I really, I haven't read the labels or anything. I want to keep it a surprise for myself to see what what package actually did arrive today. Because I, uh, quite frankly, I have a, a, quite a few packages on the way that I'm expecting from the United States. Now, I'm hoping this package is the one from Flight Tech Solutions. And let's see what we got here. I hope you can see all right. Let me check. Yep. Yeah, you're good. Mm. There's a lot of bubble wrap here. That's for sure. Okay. No! Look at this, fellas. This is not the uh, this is not the package from uh, Flight Tech Solutions. This package is from Online Components. Oh my God, I I ordered this up less than a week ago, and these guys are situated in the United States, down in Florida, and it's it's taken them less than a less than a week for these items to show up, and I am going to show you what this is because this is. Awesome. This is just awesome. Look at this. I ordered up for the for the overhead. Brand new switches. Original Honeywell switches with pull to switch. Wow. Oh yeah, baby. Now that's awesome. The only thing these need these witches needs are this cap needs to be painted white. Alright, let's see what else we got in this package. Ah. Now the overhead consists of a lot of different switches. So there should be around like 20 30 switches or something all right there that's the APE switch wow. awesome now I ordered up a lot of these MTA 100 uh, let's see if I can do a little bit of a focus MTA 100 connectors to use uh, on my interface cards uh, look at this, a whole damn bag full of switches again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. There's a little bit, there's even more switches. And... I got me. I got me. 95 meters of wire to use on the overhead too. Now ain't that cute? Mm -hmm. So now I can just go ahead and wire that overhead all over again. Oh shit. Oh man. I screwed up the wires. They were all neatly packed, but now they're now they're screwed up there, boy. They're all screwed up there, boy. I'll fix that a little bit later. Alright, so that's package number one. Let's see what this package is. Let's see if I can do a little bit of a focus. There we are. Rup. Rup. And rup. Yeah, so, um. Yeah, I'm surprised it takes. It's just a. a, a four or five days for these items to arrive. Now, this stuff. Oh, wow. This stuff is awesome. I have, as I've, I've, as I've said all the time, I'm going to build my own backlight system 
into these panels. Okay? And these are the original light bulbs that Boeing uses in their own uh, panels. Look at that tiny ass little light bulb right there. Now ain't that awesome. I've ordered up 300 of these light bulbs that'll be going into my panels right there. Okay. So, the only thing I'm missing right now to be able to hook up the backlight is PCB boards so I can build my own uh, electrical circuits to uh, solder these light bulbs into. Very nice, very, very nice, guys. I am super excited, I'm happy. And yeah, I'll be uh, shooting some more videos this uh, this following week. Uh, the flight simulator is um, I've been I've been uh, for you guys that follows the Facebook page, you know that I've been in the real thing a few days ago. I took uh, measurements of. Uh, the original thing and it shows up my measurements are a little bit wrong on the side walls there uh, the floor height seems to be around four inches too high and that need, needs to be fixed uh, so the whole floor will be raised about four inches and that means I need to do Major modifications to the main instrument panel. Uh, you know the deal. I'll get it right and everything. It sucks when that happens. See, I think this is the APU switch. Let's see if I can do a focus and show you guys. Alright, there's a focus right. Nope. No. Okay, let's hold my hand like this then. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. I believe this is the on position. I want to turn the APU off. We go up and it'll stay there. To turn it on, we go on and momentary to the start position and it'll jump back to the on position. So. Yep. So that's the Honeywell switches. Expensive, but well worth it. Very well worth it. All right, guys. I'll see you later, and uh, I'll probably be showing you some more packages in my next video. Bye bye.